For the latest on the hurricane, Florence and other systems we are tracking in the tropics, meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez is here now. Wow, Lisette, that looks impressive. Yes, this is a massive hurricane, very powerful too. Although throughout the day today, it's been undergoing an Iowa replacement cycle, and hence when hurricane hunters went in to investigate, notice a slight weakening. It is still a category four, a dangerous hurricane. And as we look at the latest 11 AM advisory, Max is seeing winds 130 miles an hour located 390 miles south of Bermuda and moving west northwest at 16 miles an hour. It is forecast to maintain category four strength as it makes landfall somewhere here along the Carolina coast or possibly a category three late Thursday into early Friday morning, possibly, and then becoming a tropical storm Saturday into Sunday, a depression. And then it's just going to stall out here and just dump heavy rain across the area. And there could be some catastrophic flooding. Not only that, look at the highest likelihood for those damaging hurricane force winds, especially for North Carolina. And we already have those hurricane watches in place as of early this morning for parts of the North Carolina and South Carolina coast. And storm surge is going to be a big concern, life threatening storm surge, in fact. So we do have those watches in place. Some of the worst hit areas could see six to 12 feet in terms of storm surge. In the meantime, Tropical Storm Isaac is moving west and it is expected to become a category one into Wednesday into Thursday, likely moving across the Lesser Antilles. That's where we're seeing the highest threat for those significant winds and then it'll likely continue moving westward into the Caribbean. We do have hurricane watches in place for portions of the uh, Lesser Antilles as well as tropical storm watches. So we'll continue to keep a close eye on Isaac as many of the models are in disagreement uh, right now as we get into the weekend. So you'll notice that as we head throughout the next few days, most of the models steering Isaac towards the Lesser Antilles, but then some of the models moving north or more west northwest. We'll keep you updated, but we also have Hurricane Helene out in the eastern Atlantic. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, but we'll certainly have more on that and two disturbances are watching in the tropics straight ahead.